The Great Gatsby, as the title expresses, is great. It is great in many aspects, but most specifically, the theme it encompasses, the American Dream. The American Dream is portrayed in a multitude of ways throughout the novel through the incorporation of social status, relationships, success, fitting into society, and spirituality. The Great Gatsby, written by F. Scott Fitzgerald, is a rather complex book because it's told through the mouth of Nick Carraway. Nick is an individual with many layers that essentially oversees all characters. He's considered to be an unreliable narrator, for he doesn't understand more than what he sees and neither do the readers. Throughout the book, Nick has relations with just about everyone. Daisy, Gatsby, Tom, Wilson, Myrtle, the list goes on. Even though Nick narrates the book, Gatsby is the main character. Gatsby is a hopeless romantic that is deeply in love with Nick's cousin, Daisy. In the book, we discover that the two had a past, and he was only hoping to rekindle the fire. Daisy is one for adventure and drama. Tom Buchanan, Daisy's husband, rarely is content. He always appears to be picking a fight out of jealousy. Drama is a reoccurring theme throughout this book, and it shows through most of the characters' words and actions. When there isn't enough love and attention, the characters end up in affairs. Through a specific affair, things become brutal. A character is run over by a car, and out of hatred, Gatsby is killed at the end of the book. A sad tale with many pressing aspects relating to social society today is The Great Gatsby. Years ago, the American dream was interpreted as moving to America, where everyone had equal opportunities to achieve success and prosperity. It was the idea that in America, one would find a job, make more money, and live a whole new life. Nowadays, those aspects still exist, but there is much more to the modern American dream. People view the modern American dream as having money and keeping it, and being a part of the upper class, trying to fit in, and self-image, graduating college, and finding a well-paying job. Also, having a steady relationship and starting a family is a bonus. The American dream has evolved to be so much more over the years and is no longer just the basic hopes and dreams of living in America. There are so many more things to living the perfect life. Throughout the book, the theme of the American dream was implied. One way in which this is portrayed is through social status. Back when the American dream was sought after, people aimed to be comfortable with where they lived their wealth and how they were going to stay afloat in the ever-changing economy. Today, it's evolved to happiness, safety, and fitting in. In society today, social status is still rather prevalent. In The Great Gatsby, the place in which the characters lived said a lot about them. Some insight given by Samantha McMahon on geographical location relating to social status is that West Egg and East Egg are the two islands in The Great Gatsby that most of the characters inhabit. East Egg, where Daisy and Tom Buchanan live, is a depiction of those who inherited their wealth, while those who live in West Egg, like Jay Gatsby, worked to become wealthy. These individuals went to Ivy League schools to get the best bang for their buck. Gatsby, like so many others nowadays, works his whole life to build up his status. In the book, he has a mansion, went to college, and hosts extravagant parties so he looks put together. Today, we don't only have two social classes just like in the 20s. The lesser inhabited place to live in the Great Gatsby is the Valley of Ashes. The poor people lived here. Reading about it today, it resembles a ghetto, a place that people may just pass through to get to other places. That is the case exactly for how it is in the Great Gatsby. These characters commute back and forth. If you look at society in 2018, we are still choosing where we live based off how much money we're bringing in, and we still have financially unstable people who probably belong in a place like the Valley of Ashes. Another aspect of the American dream portrayed throughout the book was success. To be successful, a lot of the characters went to college. According to Investopedia, the American dream is defined as one, where everyone can live a rich life, where opportunities abound, and barriers of the past aren't hampering progress. The overall idea of it was you could have a family with a stable job, and you would be set. Today, the American dream has shifted from having a job that will pay bills, 
to having a job that will pay for student loans. Student loans have played a huge part in the American dream. Students come out of college in more than debt than they can handle with a stable job once they graduate. On average, inf tuition inflates at 8%. Overall, the American dream these days is to head to college, being able to graduate, land a job afterwards in the field that you have been studying for four plus years. Rates to Great Gatsby because most of the characters, Tom for example, went to college to earn an education and earn money. Not all the characters found success through college though. Gatsby attended college at St. Olaf in Minnesota before he dropped out two weeks later. Don't get any ideas now. You could say that the characters have successfully conquered the modern American dream. Money and mansions. What could be any better? The American Dream and Great Gatsby has a lot to do with their relationships throughout The American Dream and Great Gatsby has a lot to do with relationships throughout the book. In society, relationships are sought after. Even though it may not be expressed daily, for most the dream is marriage, settling down with a loved one and starting a family together. In The Great Gatsby, characters like George and Myrtle are working to improve their lot in life through work and also through affairs with other people. Myrtle does not find satisfaction with her husband in the Valley of Ashes, so she seeks love through an affair with Tom Buchanan, who is also married. The affairs don't stop with those two. They carry on into Gatsby and Daisy's lives. Gatsby's significant American dream goal is Daisy. Gatsby is a very wealthy man with a huge mansion, whose only goal is to get Daisy off for himself. I mean, come on, he is more of a stalker than a lover. He intentionally bought his house on West Egg right across from Daisy's on East Egg. Gatsby's desire for her touch, quote, so he waited, listening for the moment longer to a tuning fork that had been struck upon a star. Then he kissed her. As his lips touched, she blossomed for him like a flower, and the incarnation was complete. Gatsby had such big future dreams for Daisy, but she could not find a balance between Gatsby and her husband Tom. Daisy then decided to stay with Tom even though she had feelings for Gatsby. A symbol that represents hopes and dreams of loved ones, specifically for Gatsby, is the green light. The light in the distance is reminiscent of Daisy, just like the green light is far from him, Daisy is too. She just met back up with him after a few years of being apart, has a child, and not to mention is married. Despite this, he can see his future, he just can't touch it yet. Knowing that all the characters were in more relationships and affairs reveals their desire to love and to be loved just like society today. Another way the American dream was shown throughout The Great Gatsby was the want to fit in and self-image. Nobody wants to be an outcast, and just like in our society, there were two characters who were desperate to fit in. Of course, Gatsby, but also Myrtle Wilson. Myrtle lived in the Valley of Ashes with her husband, George Wilson. She was very in love with him and had been married for 12 years but seemed disappointed by his lack of money and social status. Myrtle genuinely desired more than what George could ever offer her. Myrtle tried so hard to come across as more wealthy and sophisticated than she really is, by always visiting the city and going to parties. When the opportunity strikes to have an affair with Tom Butchman, a very wealthy high-class man, she took it. In the book, Myrtle represents the lower class, but her affair with Tom changes her completely. She is introduced to the life of the upper class and lives the life she dreams through a secret affair, but in the end, unfortunately, leads to her death. Like Myrtle Wilson, Gatsby was unhappy with the class he was born into. Gatsby committed his life from a young age to becoming a wealthy man. A character analysis from Cliff Notes states that Gatsby's rags-to-riches success story makes him an abodiment of the American dream. He started life with little as a son of a fairly unsuccessful farmer. He also started his life known as James Gatz, but changed his name and his identity. Because he desires to fit in, he is very far off from reality. He got himself into illegal bootlegging to make money and surrounded himself with wealthy people. Eventually, he lived the life he always dreamed of. Every choice he made during his life was finally resulting in his goal. 
Today in society, people will do whatever they can to look the part and come across as somebody they are not just to fit in. We all know somebody who has lied about experiences or wealth to get people to like them, just as Gatsby and Myrtle did Lastly, throughout the book. The American dream was portrayed through spirituality. Spiritual well-being is simply practicing meditation, prayer, being able to forgive, and having personal values. Whether you believe in God or not, you most likely want to feel content with yourself and those around you. Throughout the book, we can see this being exhibited. With Christianity being the main religion in the 20s, it made sense that Dr. Eckelberg's eyes were included in this novel. Eckelberg's eyes on the billboard represent God, or one with a higher authority. The eyes oversaw everyone coming back and forth from West and East Egg. With the billboard being in the Valley of Ashes, it's essentially saying that a higher power is with you even in the worst times of your life. Other than the, than the billboard, Nick spends time outside alone. This is a time for him to be with his thoughts and ponder life, and he valued it. In today's society, this skill, if you will, has been lost. All of our time is spent engaging in social media and not having much value to anything other than that. Throughout The Great Gatsby, the American dream was exhibited in many ways, including social status and wealth, relationships, success, fitting into society, and spirituality. All these things we associate with society today. The American dream has evolved into so much more than just living in America. There are so many different aspects to the modern American dream. Nowadays, people will do anything to thrive and live their best life, just as shown throughout The Great Gatsby.